interactive episode of Itty Bitty Railway here in Roblox where we are back in the little city that we created in the last episode right now. We built a little bit of a downtown city area. Over up on the hill right now we have a small little village and we've got a new station over there which is going to be a new little town that we're going to be building today because today your boy wants to implement cargo trains. Now to be able to do this we need to make some serious cash. We're already making some serious cash. But I need to turn this station here into a little bit of an industrial town. From this town, we're going to have a cargo train that skadoodles all the way through. Tearing through the big city. But then it splits off into a different direction. And it will go down to a little bit of a shipping harbour that we're going to have set up to have the ability to import and export the goods into your boys' towns. This is going to be interesting, guys. Now, if you are enjoying the Ibiti Railway, want to see more as I continue to expand this beautiful little world that I'm building and my train companies, then smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when that next episode does come out. Now, there's a few things we've got to get set up. Obviously, I can't stick a secondary train on this track, so we're going to have to use a little bit of magic. But what I'm going to have to do, before I can build the cargo train to go back and forth, I'm going to need to build first the industrial city, uh, or town, and also the import-export area as well. So I'm going to have to kind of build a little bit of an ocean. You know what I mean? So if I go into construction right now, and I need to find the sea. Where is the sea right now, boys? Is it in scenery? Is the sea in the scenery? Where is the sea? I wish they had categories on this. It's in terrain, isn't it? Yeah. I wish they had categories so we can know what's what and all that kind of jazz. So if I go for a large water tile, and if I pretty much start here, this is now me building the beginning of the seas. And we also need to build and set up our little harbour as well. So if I bring the water there, if I then also do another little section like this, and that's as far as I'm going to build it in terms of the depth of it. I then need to build like little dock areas as well. So back to the scenery. Was it in scenery? No, it was in terrain. <laughs> I'm already forgetting where this kind of stuff is right now. And what we need to do, if I bring up the uh, the smaller bits of water tiles, we need to create little kind of inlets and outlets to where we create these little harbours. So if that comes in like that, and then if I give it us like a... Let's give us like a couple of, let's give us a free wide space right there and I build a second one just here. So this should give us the ability right now to create these little kind of harbored areas to where boats can kind of pull up alongside for then the big cranes to take the cargo off the boat onto the train. It's going to be interesting guys. It's, it's going to be very interesting right now. So this is the, the the kind of the general basis of it. Now obviously there's a lot more stuff I kind of need to get done. Uh, I need to kind of add a, like a little bit more of a floor in. So is there any way in which I can get flooring tiles? Can you even get flooring tiles in this game? I have no idea. This is the stuff I'm trying to figure out right now. So we've got a concrete slope and tile right now. I ideally don't want it to be too high. Because, you know, I want it to be kind of ground level. But you can't... Can you not paint the floor in this game? You can do a farmland, which is interesting. I can do the floor tiles for all of that jazz. I don't think we have the ability. Tube train? Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't think we have the ability to kind of paint down like an industrial style area. So I might need to create a little bit of a ramp up. Which is going to be even more interesting right now. Throwing it out there. I could change up the waterfront too. But we'll kind of go with this. So terrain then. We're going to need a concrete terrain and this is going to be um all built up right now i'm probably going to raise the water slightly um so if i just kind of do like this to begin with and create do you know what this actually feels okay to be this height the, the water to be that height because it feels like then um the ships are going to pull alongside and then we'll do all the the jets so if i bring this going across i've also got to then figure out how i'm doing the slope as well to make sure we got no issues but this is going to be my beautiful little kind of harbored area so if i bring this going all the way down like this and i've also got to figure out i'm at the train station in the middle one that's where i'm gonna have it so if i bring this a little bit further out just so i got a little space to maneuver we're then gonna have to create our little ramped area um to kind of progress to this this change 
Interesting, boys. Now, I'll get all that set up, right, when I bring the train line through. So this is going to be the beginning of the area. There's, like, lots of cool stuff that you can kind of add to it and whatnot to make it feel like an industrial area. We can kind of add warehouses and factories and all that kind of jazz, which is quite exciting. We've got these little crane containers as well to make it feel like we're in a little bit of a harbored area. But what else could I throw down then while we kind of looking and waiting? Uh, let's take a quick look. Can you actually put like a boat down? I wonder if you can actually put like a some type of a, a ship down. Uh, shipping containers to make it feel like it is actually like that. Hmm. I'm not too sure if we can, to be honest with you. But we'll come back to that anyway. So let's get our train tracks all up and running. We're going to start with our beautiful little station. Now, like I said, I can't technically add... It, uh, the cargo train to our current line. So what I kind of have to do is have to create like a separate um, Line and I've got to go one back right now So I got to create a separate train track, but we can kind of combine them together So if I went to there all I've then got to do is bring the train tracks in So I could kind of make it almost run alongside it all So in reality what I'm trying to do is make them combined, but apparently there's already a track node there why are you lying to me, game? Why are you lying to me right now? We all know you can kind of combine. There we go. So I've got to do it where there's not track nodes. And that in itself is quite difficult to try and get that to work. you got to do it where there isn't already like a track node in. And like I said, it is very, very difficult. So I could run it through there. I might change it up in a minute to kind of make that look a little bit better because it does look a little bit weak. Uh, but I'll try my best right now to try and create something a little bit different. So we get to here, which I can't place that down just there. I can do it just before. But this is where the ramping up then begins. So if I kind of just quickly disconnect it first, right, to then kind of turn it in. I'm trying to figure out where the best section would be. Well, let me delete this. Because it does, do you know what the best thing to probably do? Is to build it the opposite way. That's probably the, the, the better thing to do. Uh, build the train the opposite way. Right, delete all of you. Delete you. Delete you. Because I feel like that makes more sense. You know what I mean? Makes a little bit more sense. So, we'll grab the train track from over this side then. The station. Uh, new station. And we'll go from here. And we'll bring it as far down as it will let us. Let's go just to... Yeah, let's go to there. And then we'll delete some blocks underneath where I need to go. But that's where the station's going to be, where the cargo train's going to run to. Oh! This is already feeling so damn beautiful. So from there, the longest line I can kind of bring it, um, going, well, the shortest distance, sorry, is here. And then we kind of need to somewhat kind of combine. Now, I can't do it there because of a node. But that will allow me to run down. Now, I'm thinking it doesn't technically need to go straight to that area. So what I could do is bring it to, let's say, here. Okay, there's a node there. I can actually make, make it go straight forward. And then kind of create a separate, to the town, have a separate area for the industry. Which probably sounds a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds a lot better. So I just want to make this bend look good. So start with the bend. There we go. Bring it around. And then we'll run the station from this point onwards. So to build a station, I'm going to need to set this all up. Now, I'm hoping I set this up in the right direction. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. So I think... Hang on, I've already messed it up. But I think it goes like this. No. It's got to be flipped the other way around, hasn't it? That's what it's got to do. Right, hold on. Train track, station, no station. Does it then go this way? So, if I cancel that for a minute, go back to the train tracks. Let me delete the train tracks. <laughs> it's all fun and games, boys, when you're trying to get this to work. Boom! Right, so, I could have added it on. But it's now kind of combined. And now it's going to look really, really cool as I kind of, you know, build all this together. So I don't know how I feel about this little section, though. So I might 
rejig it a little bit better. So let me go back to my deletings. Deletings, which is going to delete just to here. So delete all that strip again, because I feel like there's a better variation of which I can kind of combine these train tracks together. Right, for the final time then. Right, we'll bring all this together. That's better. That's a better connection with the train tracks right now. What about, I just ran into a building. What am I doing? Right, so... Oh, no. Hold on. There we go. No. Ta-da! This is going to work. <laughs> so right then, we saw all that out. Well, let me just quickly build a little bit of a road network here real quick. And then we can get the rest of this all set up. So I forget where the road now is. It's here, the straight road. Which will run the straight road down by the side just here. We'll also run it down here as well. Uh, between the two um, kind of stations right now. Right, bring this a little bit further out, right, that one a bit further out. Right. Bring that one further out, right, that one down to there. We'll do a little bit of a crisscross going this way. We'll run this going down this way. So we've got to make this all intertwined as much as we physically can right now. Uh, for the old Chrissy Crossy boys. The old Chrissy Crosses. Alright, bringing this down to there. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Right, and stick it all out in random little spots. Because you got, you got to make it feel like, you know, it's a part of the area. You know what I mean? you got to make it feel like we have a natural urban sprawl of some sort. So grab that down to there. Bam, bam, bam. Right, this is quite large, but it's two things. It's a town and an industry is what we got to think of. So let's cancel that and let's run back to this thing because we've got a few things that I do need to delete, which obviously are not working out in our best interest. Um, there we go. That's better. I'm not sure how you turn this into being like a uh, like a rocky slope or whatnot, but I need to place down some buildings to make it look like it is the actual industrial area. So we're going to start then with a couple of uh, warehouses. So here's the, the doorways just there. So if I run these warehouses going down here to begin with, uh, very good, very good. And then over on this side, we're going to push them a little bit further back than the other ones. Just down to there. So we've got a couple of warehouses in. So that's where you store the goods. And then we need all the crate stuff as well. So we're going to need, like, scenery items. So if I grab these container crates. And this is why it's important that I kind of do this. So if I do a couple just there and then just there. So that's how we kind of then load the train up. These kind of move back and forward in that, in that sense to kind of load up the train. And then we need a bunch of uh, containers down as well. So they've actually got to be in this direction, the containers, because that's how we need to... Well, actually, they, they can be this way. Actually, they need to be that way, don't they? Whoopsie. I've made an oopsie. <laughs> right. Now we'll get it done. Because the way they load them, it needs to be in that direction, doesn't it? So we get a couple of these dotted around right now. It's a shame there's not like other variations of them. But hey ho, we have our cargo ready to go. Now we don't have a train on it, obviously. We don't currently have a train on it. But let me just add a few more bits and bobs to it. To make it feel like, you know, it's an actual industrial area. We can put like modern fences up as well to kind of block some kind of spaces out. Uh, and whatnot. I don't know how much I want to do this. But, you know, it does kind of feel cool to create these little edged areas. Bam. Beautiful. I mean, I do need to build a road up here as well at some point. Not quite sure how we're going to, you know, attempt that. But let me just get these all up and running. I don't know why the fences are that important, but apparently they are. <laughs> there we go. And then 
Uh, a few more scenery stuff anyway. Anything that will kind of make us worthwhile. We we're now thinking like trucks and stuff like that parked nearby. Like I can build like a little bit of a car park here. You know, a couple of little vans and trucks. We'll try and bulk this area out a bit more, but these look like they're now loading up. Or at least appearing out of the building. Which is hilarious <laughs> in many ways. We got a couple of tankers now. As well. And there's so much more scenery that I will add in. But, you know, it takes time. You've got to do it step by step. So I think this is a very, very good start to begin with. And then we'll just kind of, you know, go from it from there. So that's all well. That's all jazzy. We have the beginnings of our harboured area. Now, what we don't have is the little industrial area that I want set up over here. Now, there's many ways or many things I could pretty much build for it. But what I could do, if I go to the buildings here, because there's a few variations of stuff that I could potentially build, but I'm thinking farming land area. Build a couple of barns down here and there. A couple of barns here and there, boys. That's kind of help us out with the farming. We can do a little bit of a logging company over here as well. Uh, but for that, again, you need to go back to the seedery. You need the trees. I also need the farming land, which I think that falls under terrain, right? Does the farming land come under, under terrain? Yes. So, you know, you build a little bit of farming here and there. you got to get it all set up. Squeeze all this down in, in various places. It's a shame you can't rotate it, because that would be kind of handy. But throw a few of this down. So you can kind of start to see where the industry is coming in. We're importing and exporting farming goods and eventually logging material as well. But let's finish this up then for now because we've got so much we've got to do to get this little town all up and running. So let me first select the train track. And for the, the first time ever, we're actually going to have two trains on our kind of um, you know transportation company. So add a train and we obviously want a cargo train, which will be the cargo one here. So add this in, which I think it's starting all the way over um, at the, whatchamacallit, the harboured area. Now, because these train tracks do kind of uh, merge together, they are the trains are going to go through one another, <laughs> unfortunately. Not a fat lot I can do about that. But the cargo train continues to go straight through right now. Look at how good that is now looking. It's got the crates all involved right now. Now, this will eventually be a beautiful little industrial town. Residents will be living here. We'll set it all up with more factories and warehouses and imports and exports. Get the freight kind of big container things over the station as well. But the trains are now tearing through. So this train's in. Will it go before that one arrives? Not quite. But then we're going to see the beautiful cargo train coming all the way up to my piece de resistance. My beautiful little harboured area. How good is this going to look? You can slowly start to see how crazy this is going to be right now. So if you want to see another episode where I continue this build and make it even more beautiful, then smash that like button down below. Until next time, I see you all soon. So goodbye.